Okay, today we are going to practice how to learn factors of a number. So factors, you already know, you've heard of them. Factors are the numbers that multiply together to make a whole number. So in this equation, 3 and 4 are factors of 12 because you multiply 3 and 4 together to make 12. Same thing on our area model. Our factors are the width and the length. And then our product is what's inside. So I'm going to show you a strategy. How do you find factors, all the factors of a number? And there are some really cool tricks. So let's use 12 as an example. And one of the strategies I really like to do is to make a t-chart underneath the number that I'm trying to find the factors for. So I have 12 on the top and I have my t-chart. So a really cool strategy is to just go by your numbers in order. So always start with one, because one works with every single number. So one times 12 makes 12. And then I just try numbers in order. So I'm going to try two. Does two times anything make 12? Well, yes. Two times six makes 12. Then I'm going to try three. Uh, three times four makes 12. I already have four, so I'm going to try five. No, five doesn't work. Six, I already have. So once I get to a number I already have, I like to do a silly little tongue out of it and I call it a factor tongue just because it's hilarious to me anyway. Uh, so what you do is we found all the factors of 12 and we write all the numbers in order. And what I like to do is I just follow the tongue all the way from the one back to the number. We started with 12 and I write the numbers out in order. So one, two, three, four, six, twelve. And there's my factors of twelve. So let's try another number. Let's try a number like ooh, 24. 24 has a lot of factors. So I'm going to write 24 at the top, make my t-table, and always start with the number one because I know one works with every number. So one and 24. Then I'm gonna try two. Uh, I know two and 12 make 24. Then I'm gonna try three. Three and eight make 24. I'm gonna try four. Four and six make 24. I'm gonna try five. Nope, five doesn't work. Five only has numbers that end with zero and five. Six I already have, which means I'm done. And there are the factors of 24. So now we write them in order. You could just follow your tongue all the way around to get them in order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Another strategy some people use is called uh, the rainbow. And it's when you connect your factors once they're listed out just to make sure you have them all. So I have 1 goes with 24. 2 goes with 12, 3 goes with 8, and 4 goes with 6. And so it kind of makes a, a rainbow design, and it's just making sure that you have all the factors you need to have. So let's try kind of a bigger one together. Oops. I like to use blue. Let's try the factors of 48. I'm going to show you why I'm trying this tricky one. So, all right, we always start with 1. 1 and 48 are factors of 48 because 1 times 48 is 48. Now I'm going to try 2. Now you might not know what works with 48, so there are a couple things you can do. You can get a calculator, and you can say, you know what, let me try 48 divided by 2. If you get a whole number with none of the decimal point numbers after it, then it works. Uh, if you do use that in a calculator, you will get 24 because 2 and 24 make 48. Or you can, you know, sit and do some division and say, you know what, 2 times 20 makes 40 and 2 times 4 makes 8. There's my 48. And so 24 works. I'm going to try 3. Now, you might not know what works right away with 3, so you can do some division. You can use a calculator. It's totally fine. Put 48 divided by 3. If you get an even whole number, or not an even number, but if you get a whole number with no decimals, it does work. 
or you can solve it out. See, I know that that makes 30. Uh, I know that I can make 12 with three. That's 42. I need six more. And there is my other factor. 10, four, and two is 16. So three times 16 works to 48. I know that four times 12 is 48. And I'm gonna try five. No, five doesn't work. Five is only gonna work with like 40, 45, 50. I'm gonna try six. Six times eight is 48. Seven, uh, if you put 48 divided by seven into a calculator, you're gonna get an answer that has like a whole bunch of numbers. That means it does not work. So seven doesn't work. Eight's already there, which means we're done. Once you hit a number you already have, you are done. <coughs> Excuse me. So the factors of 48 are one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 16, 24, and 48. And that's how you find factors.